so hard to actually like want to do anything in the house when it's so beautiful outside. Spring has hit North Carolina full force. We've been in the 60s, 70s, sometimes even 80s for the last couple of weeks and it's just so gorgeous outside. Like that's all I want to be is like outside. But I definitely need to get some housework done or because I'm like way behind. You might live at the beach if you have bottles of rocks and seashells laying around everywhere. My husband bought me this bottle of wine a few weeks ago um, because it had this like really pretty rose design on the bottom. And he's like, we should keep it and fill it up with shells and rocks. So he collected all of these little rocks at the beach the other day. And I'm gonna go ahead and get them started in there. And that's just kind of some of the weird things that people who live at the beach do. They're always looking at things like, hmm, what can we put shells and rocks in? It's totally a beach life thing. Stop it. Here's what we have so far. Yes, it's a wine bottle with rock. But with that being said, here is my mason jar full of shark teeth. Well, not full of shark teeth, but I've been collecting shark teeth for the last two or three years. And this is how much I've been able to fill with just shark teeth. I'll show you my best one. This is one of the biggest shark teeth that I have found. Pretty big. There's another pretty big shark tooth that I found. And then the rest of them are little tiny shark teeth. And I have that beautiful feather in there as well. <coughs> With the medication that I'm on, it's really important that I stay hydrated. Important that I stay hydrated to begin with, but with the medication, definitely gotta stay hydrated. After I fill up my Stanley every morning, lots of water. Also like to use liquid IV just for the added electrolytes. Here's everything Paxton ate in his breakfast. He ate all his eggs and most of his berries. And Grayson ate all of his oatmeal and most of his berries too. In thighs tonight and I'm proud of myself because I actually remember to take it out of the freezer so it can start to thaw. Your reminder as a stay-at-home mom, go eat something. Throw food on the floor. I'm like the worst at getting sidetracked, but I started going through all of my pants and my shorts to see what fit. Excuse the bed, I'm washing my sheets, but this is all the stuff that I'm getting rid of that's now too big. But it's amazing just what losing 10 pounds to do, can do. Like these pants, I could barely even get zip just a few weeks ago. And I'm not trying to brag, but I'm just relieved to be actually finally losing weight again because it's just been a struggle. So it's just nice to be able to actually wear these pants you know and get them zipped up because I bought them months ago and I haven't even been able to wear them because I've just been too tight. I'm going through all of my clothes that don't fit because I'm not going to get that size again and making room for some new stuff because once I lose the weight that I want to lose I'm going to reward myself with some new clothes. I've actually been doing this for a few weeks. That's all donation stuff as well. I went through my whole closet and had to thin this out so I got rid of a bunch of sweaters and stuff that I didn't wear. I haven't worn in a couple years. I've got a lot of stuff to take to donation. I've also I've also been doing the same thing with my kids clothes as I've been doing laundry and stuff I've been going through their stuff and getting rid of some of their clothes as well I was tempted to sell because I got a lot of American Eagle stuff in here I was tempted to try to sell it on Facebook marketplace but sometimes it's just not even worth it I'm just gonna donate it I found these Dashing Diva Glaze Semi-Cured Gel Nails at Target. Guys, here is the final results. Definitely not perfect, but they look better than my raggedy nails. He's fully weaned now, and it's so crazy that he just comes and he lays with me and just goes to sleep. And it's just, it's new for me as a breastfeeding mom. 
Well, thanks for spending the morning with us. Yeah. Probably a little boring, but that's just how stay-at-home mom life is a lot of days. Now we gotta go get the big kids from school.